In this example, we'll go through all the steps necessary to do a three-part limonene reagent problem. Note here that these can also be called limonene reactant problems. You can consider the words reagent and reactant to be interchangeable. 50 grams of aluminum is mixed with 400 grams of bromine and allowed to react according to the balanced equation 2Al plus 3Br2 gives 2AlBr3. Whenever you're given quantities of both reactants present, you know you're dealing with the limonene reagent problem. Here we're given the masses of aluminum and bromine present initially. We're asked to determine the excess and limonene reagents, the mass of the product, aluminum bromide, that can be produced in this reaction, and the mass of the excess reagent left over. We start by finding the number of moles of each reactant present initially. We have 50 grams of aluminum. To find the moles, we multiply by one mole of aluminum over 26.98 grams, its atomic mass. Cancel out the grams of aluminum, and dividing 50 by 26.98, gives us 1.85 moles of aluminum present. We're also told that 400 grams of bromine is present initially, so we multiply that by one mole over 159.8 grams, the molar mass of diatomic bromine, Br2. Cancel out the grams of bromine, and we get 2.50 moles of bromine are present initially. We jot these values down here. In order to find the limiting and excess reagents, we calculate the moles of Br2 we would need to completely react with all the aluminum we have initially present, assuming it all reacts. We will need to use the coefficients in the balanced equation, so we'll write that here. We have 1.85 moles of aluminum present, so we write that down here. Now we multiply by the mole ratio of bromine to aluminum. The numbers beside each element are the coefficients in the balanced equation. For every two moles of aluminum that react, three moles of bromine are required. Cancel out the moles of aluminum, and multiplying gives us 2.78. So 2.78 moles of bromine are required to react with the 1.85 moles of aluminum present. We'll jot that here. We see that 2.78 moles of bromine are required, but we only have 2.5 moles of bromine available. Therefore, we don't have enough bromine to react with all the aluminum present. Some aluminum will be left over and reacted. There isn't enough bromine, so we call bromine the limiting reagent. And we have too much of aluminum to react with all the bromine, so the aluminum is the excess reagent. It's very important to note here that when we're calculating moles of substances used up or produced in this reaction from now on, we must start with the moles of the limiting reagent, which is Br2 in this case. Everything is limited by the moles of the limiting reagent. We've now answered the first question. We still need to determine the mass of the product aluminum bromide produced and the mass of the excess reagent aluminum left over. We can answer these questions with the help of an ICF chart, where I stands for initial, C for change, and F for final moles. The change in moles for each substance is calculated using the moles of the limiting reagent and the coefficients in the balanced equation, and we'll show you how that's done. We'll start by calculating the moles of aluminum bromide that can be produced in this reaction, and we'll call this step three. Remember to find the moles of any substance used up or produced, we must start with the moles of the limiting reagent, Br2 in this case, and we have 2.5 moles of Br2 all of the limiting reagent present will react. This is always the case. So in order to find the moles of aluminum bromide produced, we start by writing 2.5 moles of bromine here, and multiply by the mole ratio 2 moles of AlBr3 to 3 moles of Br2. Cancel out the moles of Br2, and we get 1.67 moles of aluminum bromide, which we'll jot down here. Now we'll calculate how many moles of aluminum are actually used up in this reaction. Again, we must start with the limiting reagent, Br2. So we write down 2.5 moles of Br2 here, and multiply by the mole ratio 2 moles of aluminum to 3 moles of Br2. Cancel out the moles of bromine, and the answer we get is 1.67 moles of aluminum are used up. So we can jot that down here. Now we'll fill out our ICF chart. We note that aluminum is the excess reagent and bromine is the limiting reagent. The initial moles of aluminum present is 1.85 moles, 
and the initial moles of bromine present is 2.50 moles. There was no aluminum bromide present at the beginning of this reaction, so we write a zero here. We've calculated that 1.67 moles of aluminum were used up, so we write negative 1.67 here for the change in the moles of aluminum. All 2.5 moles of the limonene reagent has reacted, so we write negative 2.50 here. And we've also calculated that 1.67 moles of aluminum bromide are produced, so we write plus 1.67 here for the change in moles of aluminum bromide. We started with 1.85 moles of aluminum and 1.67 moles reacted. So we have 1.85 minus 1.67 which is equal to 0.18 moles of aluminum left over unreacted. So that's written down here in the final moles of aluminum. There's no limiting reagent bromine left over so we write a zero here. And the final moles of aluminum bromide is zero plus 1.67 which is 1.67 moles. In step six, we'll convert the moles of aluminum bromide produced into mass. The ICF chart tells us we produced 1.67 moles of aluminum bromide. So to change it to grams, we write 1.67 moles of aluminum bromide here and multiply by the molar mass of aluminum bromide to 66.68 grams per one mole. Cancel out the moles and calculating this gives us 445 grams of aluminum bromide rounded to three significant figures. And we'll jot that down here. The third part of this question asks us to determine the mass of the excess reagent left over after the reaction. We can use the ICF table we created. The moles of aluminum left over after the reaction is 0.18 moles. I remember aluminum is our excess reagent. So we write that down here, 0.18 moles of aluminum and multiply by the atomic mass of aluminum, 26.98 grams per mole. Cancel out the moles, and multiplying 0.18 by 26.98 gives us 4.86 grams of aluminum left over. We'll jot that down here. So we can now summarize by stating that when 50 grams of aluminum is mixed with 400 grams of bromine and allowed to react, aluminum is the excess reagent and bromine is the limiting reagent. The reaction will produce 445 grams of the product aluminum bromide, and there will be 4.86 grams of the excess reagent aluminum left over after the reaction.